the parents of Abu Hanifa, rahimahullah, their story of meeting is, is, is truly a phenomenal and beautiful story and it shows you الطيبون للطيبات Pure men are for pure women. Thabit ibn Zulta, he was once walking and this is before he gets married to the mother of Abu Hanifa and as he was walking uh, there was a tree of fruit and it was hanging over the fence of the garden. So just imagine that you're walking and you see this garden and you see this tree and it's hanging over the fence. So he grabbed one of the fruits and he ate it. Then he felt bad. So he went back to the owner of that house and he told him, look, I ate one of your fruits. I want to pay for it. And you know, I feel bad. I didn't ask your permission and so on and so forth. And the owner of the house, he said, uh, you really want to make it up to me? He said, but here's the thing. He said, my daughter is deaf. She's mute. And you know, she also has uh, issues with, you know, she, she also is not mentally all there. She's not, she's not going to really, she doesn't understand much. She's deaf. She's mute. And in one narration, she's even blind. All right? So this no longer appeared to be such a sweet deal for him. <laughs> so he said, are you still willing to do it? So Thabit said, you know, let me think about it. And then he came back to me. He said, if this is the only way you'll forgive me for taking that fruit, subhanAllah, he feared Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that fruit on the day of judgment. He said, I'll do it. If this is the way to gain your forgiveness, I'll do it. So he entered upon this woman the first time and he said, Salaamu Alaikum. And he didn't even look at her because he was like, this is going to be a disaster. And she said, Wa Alaikum as Salaam wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. So he looked at her and he was like, what? Like you heard me and you can speak and, and you can see. And she was also a beautiful woman as well. So he's like, what is this? Your father said that you were like this. And she responded and she said that I am deaf from all of that which is displeasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I don't hear backbiting. I don't hear lying. I don't hear slander. I have purified my, ear, my ears from a lagu, from idle speech. I don't even listen to that stuff. She said, I'm mute from speaking in a way that Allah is not pleased with. And my eyes are blinded from the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told me to lower my gaze from. And I have purposely put myself into ignorance of knowledge which is not beneficial. I purposely remained ignorant of that which is not beneficial to me. SubhanAllah, that was her answer. And they got married. And from this marriage comes Abu Hanifa rahimahullah ta'ala.